Meanwhile, the search for an inmate who escaped from the Pulaski County Jail this morning continues tonight. He is considered dangerous and T311's Frederick Price has been following the story all day. Explains how this could have happened. Multiple law enforcement agencies, including LRPD, spending Wednesday helping sheriff's detectives search for clues and hopes of finding 56-year-old Henry Hatton. The department tells THV 11 Henry recently pled guilty to a domestic battery charge and unrelated drug charges. He's been in the Pulaski County Jail since October, a spokesperson says. We conducted a head count and discovered he was missing. Sheriff's Department spokesperson Cody Burke explains inmates head count is usually at 7 a.m., 3 p.m. and 11 in the evening. Wednesday morning around 4, jail workers noticed something was off. The Pulaski County Sheriff's Department telling me he was able to escape through two fences, one surrounding the exercise yard of the jail and another exterior fence overnight. We noticed there was some damage to the fence on the exercise yard, apparently where he would got through the fence. We believe he may have been injured trying to get through the razor wire. Search teams, Burke says, are going to known locations where Henry may be or at least visited. Burke adding over time, if he is not caught, the Sheriff's Department will take the next steps in finding him. A warrant will be issued for his arrest and we, you know, we currently are out looking for him. Uh, he'll be entered into the National Crime Information da Database, so um, you know, he'll be wanted nation nationwide. In Pulaski County, Frederick Price, THV 11 News. Lieutenant Berg says this escape had nothing to do with jail overcrowding, but rather someone seeking an opportunity to break free. The Sheriff's Department considers Henry to be dangerous. If you have any information on where he might be, you need to call them.